Peace of the Lord be with you, and good morning. This is our devotion for February 10th, and um, Psalm Day, Thursday, February 10th, and Thursday is Psalm Day in an ordinary week, and that's what we've got. So uh, our psalm for this week is Psalm 95, verses 1 through 9. Uh, if, you're, if you remember the Venite from uh, from Matins, Oh, come let us worship the Lord. Uh, that's, that's where this comes from, uh, is Psalm 95, and so we'll be... Uh, We'll be reading those words, but we'll be tying it, obviously, to, uh, to, to the passage for this week. So, um, in any case, I'll be getting this out in the morning, so we'll follow the morning order, page 295 in the hymnal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 95, verses 1 through 9. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands form the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on the day at Massah in the wilderness, when your fathers put me to the test and put me, uh, put me to the proof, though they had seen my work. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we sing to you. Grant that we would make a joy, joyful noise to you, the rock of our salvation. Grant us to come into your presence with thanksgiving, to make a joyful noise to you with songs of praise. For you are a great God. You are a great King above all gods. In your hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are yours also. The sea is yours, for you made it, and your hands form the dry land. O Lord, grant us to worship and bow down, to kneel before you, our Maker, for you are our God, and we are the people of your pasture and the sheep of your hand. Grant us, O Lord, to hear your voice, and as we hear it, to not harden our hearts, as was the case at Meribah and on that day at Massah in the wilderness, when our fathers put you to the test and put you to the proof, though they had seen your work. Lord, we have seen your work, and we thank you. We thank you for the work of our salvation, as you have redeemed us from sin, death, and the devil, and the bondage therein, as you live and reign one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. All right. Um, okay, so, as we make connections to uh, to the readings, as, as I, you know, been talking about this throughout the week that this this fits with the especially with the um, especially with the, the verses uh, was it eight and nine there we've got the discussion of of um, of Meribah and, and Massah in the wilderness you know this clear reference to um, to the to the quarreling and um, uh, you know so uh, the end of verse seven be, and into verse eight verses eight and nine today if you hear his voice do not harden your hearts as at Meribah as on the day at Massah in the wilderness when your fathers put me to the test and put me to the proof. Um, now I'm going to stop there because I'm going to come back to this here in a second. So um, there's that warning, though. You know, as we're connecting this this grumbling that that uh, that the, the the workers, the laborers do with regard to the generosity of the, um, the with the generosity of the landowner there, we compare that to the grumbling that the Israelites do. In, in the wilderness, and um, you know they hear they've been rescued from from bondage to sin, and yet they're grumbling and grumbling, right? And where is the you know we got this all we've got this bread that God is providing for us miraculously? Uh, where's the water? You know yada yada yada, and um, you know there's this grumbling, and and to, they're putting the Lord to the test, right? And in this uh, this warning to us, as you hear His voice, don't do that. Of course, we, we do hear his voice. We hear his voice in his word. We hear his voice in the preaching of that word. We, we heard his voice in the waters of baptism. You know, they were spoken to us. I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We hear his voice with the, this is my body given for you. This is my blood shed for you, right? 
don't put him to the test, right? So that's a clear connection there. Let's jump back now to the beginning, and we see another connection right off the bat. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. You know, to, to reference Paul again with that. Um, you know, I want you to know, brothers, that our fathers were all under the cloud, and all passed through the sea, and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and all ate the same spiritual food, and drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank from the spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. As, they, as Moses struck the, the literal rock and the water flowed out of it, they think they're drinking of, of, uh, of the, the, the earthly water to come from that rock, but they're drinking from, from Christ. He, the rock of their salvation, right? The rock who rescued them from the bondage to slavery under Pharaoh, and the rock of our salvation, the rock who rescues us from the bondage to slavery, to sin, death, and the devil, right? So... Let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. And in doing so, let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise, right? Uh, and, and, and of course, I point this out often, that as you have these 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 psalms that, that speak of praising God like that, uh, they don't just say that over and over and over again, right? Excuse me, they finally do it. They finally praise God. And how do they do it? For the Lord is a great God, a great king above all gods. The, 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 in his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his also. He is so awesome as God that he has creation all in, in, in the, under the authority of his power. Right? He has created it in that power. He, this is the awesomeness of this God. He is a great God. The sea is his, for he made it. His hands form the dry land, you know. Uh, and, and because of, of that authority of his creation and his ability to create and the power that he has in that, what, what ought we to do? Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Um, you know, and I, as I, when I hear that, that, that phrase there, kneel before the Lord, our maker. Um, you know, one of the things that we had in the, in the Catholic church growing up was uh, we had kneelers in the pews. And, and there are a lot of Lutheran churches that have kneelers in the pews. And, uh, but I, I think it's interesting because you'll hear sometimes some Lutherans kind of say, well, the kneelers in the pews, that's a Catholic thing because of that. Um, but it's actually a very biblical thing. In fact, one of the things that, you know, that's interesting is, you know, in, in Roman Catholic churches, as you commune, you, you go, you know, go kind of in a, in a single file in a line. And, um, and that's, in all honesty, I, I think in part just because of the, 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 the quantity of people. And um, so it's just a practical thing. And, and again, you have Lutheran churches that do that. But one of the things I loved when I became Lutheran was that we would actually kneel at the rail, kneel before the Lord, our maker, as he comes to us, as Jesus comes to us in his body and blood. That reverence for, for that presence of Jesus there, that reverence for God altogether. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. And um, yeah, so, so a great call to that there. For he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. So, so here's this, you know, this, oh, come, let us do this, right? This, this, this description of, of let us do this, and then the actual doing it. He is our God. We are the people of his pasture, the sheep of his hand. And thinking, you know, the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Thinking of the parable of the good shepherd who seeks the lost sheep, right? Um, that's... It's the, the, the grace, the, the, the gracious God, the, the, the good shepherd, John chapter 10, who lays down his life for us. Um, so in view of that, today, if you hear his voice, harden not your hearts, uh, as, they, as, as at Meribah and, and Massah. And I, I didn't mention this yesterday, but, but um, uh, Meribah is, uh, means quarreling and Massah means testing, right? So, so we don't test, we don't quarrel uh, with, with God as, as we see in, in, in that, that story there. Um, don't do that because he's gracious. Don't put him to the test. Verse 9, when your fathers put me to the test and put, put me to the proof, though they had seen my work, and um, I, I referenced this yesterday, though they had seen that he had rescued them from that slavery, they still pushed against that, still acted as though he would not care for them, that he would not provide for them. Don't do the same thing. He will care for you. You have seen his work. He has entered into this creation and died for your sins. You have the proof. Thanks be to God. Amen. 
All right, uh, we continue with the Apostles' Creed in the order on page 295 of the hymnal. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.